Right guys, just want to talk about being more confident. There was a funny video I seen on Facebook the other day, which sort of hit a mark. Um, just because he put it well, well, together quite well. Um, what he had was, he had three video clips on there. You had some woman, singer, whatever, um, crawling around the stage doing this butt dance thing. You had a guy that was singing about Gucci and a guy with a Lamborghini going, look at me. And as he's pointed out, it wasn't confidence, it was egos, it was cockiness. It had nothing to do with confidence. A lot of people struggle with confidence, as he brought out as well, relating to acne, having bad teeth and stuff when they were children, and it carries on through life. One of the things I will say to you is you will get people say, you're fat, your teeth are crooked, your teeth are this, you're... You're, you're ugly, you're whatever. Do you know what? They also have issues. And the difference is, they are not confident in themselves because the, the point is their deflection is often the fact of a defense mechanism. At the end of the day, when I look at somebody, I really don't care what they look like. I have no interest whatsoever. But you do notice people having a nice smile. You do notice people um, going about their day in a happy manner, etc. Now, a lot of that is being comfortable. And with being comfortable comes confidence. It's a bit like um, doing speeches and things. This is where a lot of this YouTube stuff started for me because I was getting comfortable in front of the camera. If you look at my first videos, they're terrible. And some people go, this is wrong, this is wrong. I don't mind because the whole point is it's part of a development process for myself in developing confidence in the speaking aspect. Because I'm not just talking about talking to you or whoever, um, but I've had to do conferences with a few hundred people sometimes, relating to talking about what I specialize in, like round assets and things. In the same way, I've had to sit and explain to groups of engineers about uh, company takeovers and things. So the point is, it, for that, it was a weak spot for me, and I even mentioned it in one of the older videos, probably around 2012 maybe, about why I was doing some of the videos back then. It was all about confidence. But yes, I have bad teeth. I know I have bad teeth. And at the same time, so what? You know, when someone goes, oh, you got bad teeth or the yellow. Yeah, I drink too much coffee. I've had three cups of coffee today. Um, I drink it at a high temperature. It's something I do and always have done. So that's just part of life for me. I don't let it rule my life. And this is where a lot of people get boxed in because somebody trying to put you down, if you allow them to do it on such things, they will just keep pushing it because they want to put themselves above you. But at the same time, they are not that great. They'll have other issues. A lot of their issues will be below the surface. They don't let you know their issues because they are, well, on the surface, fake. And at the same time, going, oh yeah, you got bad teeth. Yes, I have. And let's move past that. I've got other things to do. Um, well, um, there is nothing else. Yes, thanks. It doesn't matter. The whole point is you've got to be comfortable in yourself. Yes, my hair is declining. So what? It's not something I can fix. Not something I'm worried about. It's, it's part of life. It's part of getting older. And the same, I mean, I didn't really have bad acne as a kid, I've got to admit, but the, the point being is I can understand where people have had problems with their skin and wish it was as smooth as this, wish it was that. But in reality, please be aware that Oil of Ule and the other ones are not how everybody is. It's about selling the product. It's about saying we can give this miracle soft skin and whatever. It's not about everybody having smooth skin. Because if everybody had smooth skin, why do these companies get so big? Answer, you. Answer on the postcard, and you can send it in. Um, but the, the point being is, be more confident in yourself. And tr just try it for a week. Just be more chirpy, more smiley, and whatever. And just see if anybody comes back to you. You probably get nobody actually say there's something wrong with you. What you're more likely to say is like you hear people going, oh, you're in a good mood and stuff like that, which exudes, 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 yeah, confidence. It's showing you're more happy, you're more confident, you're content, 
And that's what it's about. The confidence comes from being content on who you are. You develop it from that. Like my, like I said with the speed stuff, it started with recognizing that that's something I needed to work with. As such, I often get people say, you can talk to anybody. You can just go up there with any subject or whatever. That's come from doing these YouTube videos. Because people will ask me something and I can sit there and just do a video on the fly because I've done so many videos. At the same time, I can go in a room and do exactly the same. It's no different for me. Because I've gained that confidence in the fact that it's been projected from trial and error and keep going and keep going and improving and get better at this. And you will get people say, Matt, your video is boring. So what? So what? You watch too many movies with explosions and no storyline. I'm not complaining about you. Um, but the, the point being is just recognize it and progress with it. And I do say, sit there and find what your weaknesses are. Find out what is holding you back in some way. Is it your teeth? Try smiling. Like I said, my teeth are yellowed a bit. This, these two are actually um, capped because I actually broke the two in the middle here. Uh, there's a crack down the middle where not a metal bar broke them. Um, so they're capped. But the thing is, that's a prime example. I don't smile too much, but it's for me, it's just habit these days. But at the end of the day, you will get people say I'm quite chirpy and quite lively in real life compared to what on YouTube. But then again, in YouTube, I'm just talking to you. You're not hearing me in real life. You're not seeing me in real life. You're just seeing on a specific topic. But the, I just wanted to bring this up today because I thought, you know what? There's a lot of people out there that let small things affect bigger things on their life. Be more confident, but it starts with recognizing what's not great on you and doing something about it. Is it your skin? Well, can you fix it or can you move past it? Can you just say, well, I am who I am and so what? You know, at the end of the day, if somebody says, well, you've got bad skin, I said, well, you've got a bad attitude because nobody that would think somebody may be sensitive about their skin would bring up the subject. You've got a bad attitude. Let's talk about you. What is your problem? And you can move past it because you're already a better person in that sense. Thanks for watching.